time and some officers who really didn't know where they were when uh, they uh, got the rice. They knew where they came from, but they didn't know where they'd landed. Most new soldiers came from east of the Mississippi and were unprepared for the sight that awaited them after their long train ride west. They were told maybe that they were going to California and they were thinking of Hollywood and the beaches and they were really excited about their new duty station. And uh, the vast majority of them rode the train. They're told to get off the train and here they are in this vast wasteland. You should have heard some of these guys cuss in California. But you can't blame them not seeing any place else in the state and then dropping them off here in no man's land. Sergeant Horace Barrett, 709th Tank Battalion. The dramatically different surroundings weren't the least of the surprises awaiting the new recruits. These large training areas were, of course, a, a shock. I mean, these are people from places that for California sounds incredibly exotic. I mean, you're mixing Protestants and Catholics. Suffering together in the heat, a tent camp in the middle of nowhere, far from any comforts of home or civilization in a, a desolate desert, really uh, tended to bring the men together and uh, really uh, strengthen those bonds of unit cohesion, which were critical to winning overseas. We started pitching tents, five men per tent, and on the first day we were pitching them, I felt something warm bite me on the side. Then a scorpion ran out of my pant leg and one of the guys killed it. They took me over and lanced it and sucked out the poison. Then they gave me a furlough. Corporal O.V. Kaufman, 736th Tank Battalion. 